Here's your WTF Action News for Friday, May 10th. A zoo employee working in a draft enclosure has died. On April 19th, 27-year-old Tyler Powell was working on a six-foot ladder at Deer Tracks Junction Adventure Park when he was knocked off the ladder and hit his head. On Thursday, the zoo announced that Powell had died. Deputies say one of the drafts was responsible for the accident. The business has launched a GoFundMe campaign and has raised more than $3,000 so far. Authorities are thanking residents who helped rescue cows from a fire at a dairy farm near Coopersville. The Ottawa County Sheriff says a fire broke out inside a large building with cows inside. When deputies arrived, the farm's owner, employees, firefighters, and other residents were helping to rescue the cows. The Sheriff's Office said some cows died, but they didn't have an exact number. The Sheriff's Office thanked the residents who helped on the scene. The Ocona County Sheriff's Office has increased road patrols and initiated 77 traffic stops last week, leading to 42 citations. Deputies were also on the scene of five auto crashes and arrested two people for drunk driving. The department also responded to 58 calls for help, including some serious complaints such as three calls for a suicidal person and two each for sexual assault and child neglect. There were five complaints for civil disputes two for trespassing, and one each for fraud and threats. Contractors in Midland were curious about an extension cord on the roof of the Family Fair grocery store and discovered that a 34-year-old woman was living inside the business sign. They say there was enough space for a computer, printer, and coffee maker. The homeless woman, whose name has not been released, told police she had a job elsewhere, but had been living inside the Family Fair sign for roughly a year. Police say the woman was cooperative and agreed to leave. No charges have been pursued. There'll be a children's craft activity and story time this morning at 10.30 at the library. The Dungeons and Dragons Club will meet Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Hollyhock Emporium. Recycle Alcona will hold a drop-off day from 10 until 1 p.m. Saturday at the ARA site on Barlow Road in Lincoln. For more information, call 724-5077. Stand by. Here we go. Five, four, three. Two, one, and cue music. On this day in 1974, Eric Clapton recorded I Shot the Sheriff, a cover of a Bob Marley song. Clapton was reluctant to record the track, but it became the only number one hit of his career on the U.S. chart. Dave Mason was born on this day in 1947. The singer-songwriter with Traffic has worked with many notable musicians and played 12-string guitar on the Jimi Hendrix version of All Along the Watchtower. Sunny skies for Harrisville and the entire WTF listening area today with a high temperature near 61 degrees. Winds from the northwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming southeast this afternoon. There's a 30% chance of showers after 2 a.m. tonight, otherwise mostly cloudy with a low around 40. Rain continues throughout the weekend with daytime highs near 60 and overnight lows in the 40s. WTF Action News is a public service of your local community radio station, WXTFLP Harrisville. Right here in Elkona County, Michigan.